We're going to demonstrate several fun things to do with uh, things you don't think about. This is saltwater neck hackle. Makes a beautiful, it comes as a strung product. These are the biggest feathers from the base of a uh, uh, Chinese cock capes. Uh, we're going to illustrate those. And here's a product called... Um, what is it? It's a UV. Polar, polar chenille. This is UV gold. It's excellent. Uh, Senyo's laser dub. Uh, and the Daiichi 2151. This is a size 1 hook. Uh, this is an awesome fly. We're going to show it to you right now. The Daiichi 2151 is an awesome hook. I like the heft of the wire. I like the, the tapered eye and the straight eye. So in the back, you know, there's lots of ways to tie these flies. I really like the, oh, I'm going to do some, I'm going to illustrate something else. I'm going to illustrate, some folks asked about reinforcing mylar uh, bodies. So that's what I'm going to do. This is a Lagerton mini flat braid. and just pretend it's mylar. Mylar is a plastic material. It's very nice, very bright, very shiny. And it's also a little bit on the fragile side when fish start chewing on it. Really easy to use though, this, this laggard and main Oh, flat this, this stuff is awesome. And it, I think it's tougher than mylar because yeah. it, it is a braid yeah. and it's very shiny. So, so I've so I've got that and I could stop now, but I'm going to counter wrap this with an, uh, uh, an oval. Instead of going the same direction, I'm going to wrap this in towards me. And so it's basically going on perpendicular to that original layer. And that just provides reinforcement to the mylar. Ah! So there we go. See, this is reality in action. So now, pretending that that little blooper didn't happen, Senyo's laser dub is really cool stuff. It's it's very light and um, wispy, if that's the right term. I'm using a dubbing loop and a shepherd's hook here. And the this this material it's offered in a number of different colors and it has a little bit uh, I think of ice wing in it. Um, so it has a little bit of extra sparkle. So I could wrap that on right the way it is, but what I'm going to I'm going to rough that up a little bit. So those fibers are going to be out there living and breathing and attracting Mr. Steelhead to bite. So I could have done the whole body with this material. Uh, I like to have a, a kind of a a slimmer rear body and then uh, a thicker portion of this uh, laser dub in front. Leave myself enough room there at the front of the fly. Now I'll get an extra... You know, we're going to do a demo on scissors and I think I need a new pair of scissors. That's going to be handy. See how nice fuzzy that looks. That's going to breathe in the water. So this uh, polar chenille is really interesting stuff and the UV, I'm really fond of the UV gold and the UV silver and they're not just gold, <clears throat> not, not just gold or silver fibers, they're, uh, they've got these little translucent UV fibers in there this is going to wind sort of like hackle, but sort of not like hackle, because it doesn't behave as nicely as hackle. 
and I'm just going to put on two turns, no more. Remember me, no more, because that's plenty. So these, ha the, these fibers aren't, they look kind of wild, but they will, be, they will do just what you want them to in the water. So I'm going to wrap over them a little bit. Then I'm going to take one of these. Now what I look for in a saltwater <clears throat> neck hackle, I look for the rib, uh, the rib, the, the web in the center. And again, don't try to use every feather in a packet. Let's see. Ooh, I like this one a little bit better. Okay. So I'm going to go to this hackle. And I'm going to go down about this far because that's going to give me a little bit more web. The stems do get thicker as you go towards the base, so uh, you can't go down all the way. And remembering that the last time I demoed a fly, I pulled my hackle out. I'm going to put a few more extra turns there. Then I'm going to run my scissors along that center stem to fold this hackle. Help the fibers lay back. And I'm going to wind on this collar in the front of this fly. And guess what? This is not working. So I'm going to stop. Chris may cut. Okay, having edited out the last feather that, <laughs> that was winding exactly the wrong way, I I don't exactly know why that happens. I think some the center stems on some hackle fiber hackle feathers are actually twisted. And if you get one like that and you start winding it on and it's not behaving, you just stop, you throw that offending feather away and you get yourself another feather and get going again. So on scissors, you want a scissor that will get in and cut. Uh, right where you want it to cut. So I took quite a few turns with that saltwater neck hackle. I wasn't counting four, five, six. Um, look at how nicely those feathers lay back. Look at how long they are. They have a little bit of web in the center. Uh, this is a fly that will show up well in the water, but doesn't create so much bulk that, it'll, that it will be difficult to, uh, to sink it and to top this off I got a little bit more of my liquid fusion this is gonna make a really nice uh, bright next time I do this I'm gonna find myself a little bodkin to apply this now you do want to be careful with this stuff because if you do what I did the first half dozen times I tried it, I covered the hook eye. And when liquid fusion dries on your hook eye, you cannot use it stream size. So there, there's our fly. Um, Senyo's laser dub, polar chenille, UV gold. Saltwater neck hackle, Lagerton, uh, rear body Daiichi 2151. What do I have to do now? To put in the hook turner to keep that little uh, liquid fusion going around. That head is going to be just gorgeous.